Max Christmas Factory. So this week's video, we've got Noel Scenes. Noel Scenes can restore a bike like no, no one else I know. His attention to detail is absolutely fantastic. So it's a two part video. So in the first half, it's the bikes that Noel's built out of leftover parts and a couple of these fittings that other people sort of started. Uh, they've come up fantastic, so we'll have a look at those. And the second part, genuine Astros. So let's have a look. Bottles and wasted time. I got nothing to show for. I'm a waste of time. Except the trouble, worried mind. I got travel west on an eastern holiday. Lost touch with the reason Found another trend that I could break To feel more like myself Saw the water where they drown the sorrow So we've got some Persangs in here, Chris. That's a Mark 7 Persang, the one over on the left. I call the Model 120. I call the Jim Pomeroy replica. Nice bike. And um, that was in pretty bad condition. And I did that one up when we had COVID in lockdown. And it's cut up nice. Yeah, no. Well, you wouldn't have recognised what it was from the photos when I first had it. Mm. Beautiful bike. A lot of hours, a lot of money. So that was an old motocross bike that became a bush basher, the Mark 7. And this other blue one in the middle is called a Mark 8. And um, that this was used on dirt track, which means, you know, sliding. So the frame is in very good condition. And that's been hotted up, actually, the motor. It goes pretty hard for dirt track. When I got it, it was on methanol. But the back of the tank wasn't even there. There's no back on the tank. You just put your hands in the tank. Really? So I've had to redo all the tank on, on all these bikes, actually. It's, I've painted them, done the glass, fiberglass work. Mm, but, that, but that's had a whole new back put on that bike, on the tank, which is quite amazing. But the motor's quite warm, and it's got a Jeff Morris pipe, GM Concepts pipe. And all my bikes got trial tyres on them, because if you ever want to ride them, I've got to go to Broadford and ride over there, because your body won't go over jumps. Yes. And that's called a Mark III Persang. That used to be on the Graham Glover from New South Wales. He was a famous short circuit rider and a nickname the Glove. And that was one of his old race bikes. And I got it off his family. So that's, I haven't done much of that, just basically painted it and just shone it up. It was in quite good condition. Yeah, right. That's a ripple looking bike, isn't it? Yeah, yeah nice. Not the tails, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. That's a 1969. Yeah, I remember the one pretty old. I think I had was. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, nice. I love that. And I've had a little Gorelli mini bike. I bought that for my kids in about 1980. Of Michael Hyatt, the wrecker. <laughs> of Michael, yeah. Michael. Yeah, so that's a little Gorelli mini bike. And that's actually done seven miles, I suppose, when they pushed it around the factory before yeah, they yeah. bolted it on the before platform. Before they bolted it, it's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, probably yeah. never would have been started up. But that's got everything in it. It's got the ignition, the piston, everything. That would probably go if you took it off. There. Okay, yeah. it's got everything in Usually they're just a shell, aren't no, they? No, everything's in the motor. Okay, right? Electrics, yeah, the whole lot. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, you know, they were usually um, hollow yeah, engines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This bike, the, the three bikes out in the shed here are all Bull flat trackers. I'm not going to say they're Astros because they're not. They're created from Persangs, the whole three of them. And that bike was built by Graham Glover South Wales years ago, and that's a Mark Seven Persang. It's a really nice bike. It's got quite an exotic alloy clutch in it, and um, she tends to run pretty well. I repainted it, and just added my touches to it. But I didn't build that bike, that's built by Graham Glover. Yeah. Yeah, so there's not many bikes around that have got Mark 7 125 motors in them. They all blew the bits, didn't they? Well, no, I don't know. I don't know, Gordon blew one to push. Probably, but anyway. <laughs> but he was well, we never used to see that many in Australia, I suppose, because the Japanese bikes are the same time. Pacific lovers in motion They keep on talking about tomorrow Tomorrow never comes California dreaming may just be a feeling when everything is out of reach. All the pretty people are looking pretty equal now. So this this is a, a Persang based Astro Special, flat track special. This was built by Wayne Lorenzi and I from my mate from Canberra and I finished it. Wayne was never gonna finish it. And this is quite an exotic bike actually. This is a really rare bike in Australia because it's got a Burt Flood motor. Bird flood cylinder with the extra ports. 
So that's a 250, got a lot of power, probably as much as the one I showed you before. And um, the extra porting in the cylinder is a, a sight to behold, it's quite beautiful. And this bike's got a Yamaha CDI ignition on it, which means it starts pretty well first gear, which is quite good. It's got a CDI ignition of a IT175 Yamaha, and I've done all the work. When I got it off weight, it had drum brake wheels, I put disc brake wheels on them and um, painted it. You notice that one there on the fuel cap, Chris, it's got the flip top fuel cap. Yeah, it's got the Monza cap on it. Yeah, which is not many Astros or flat trackers have got them. So that bike's also a methanol. And um, that's actually a YouTube movie, this bike getting ridden on a private road by Ricky Wason in Wangaratta. So oh, I'd say that, yeah. yeah. Hammers this thing. Yeah, so this is... Been right outside the city limit Where the canyons are empty Lonely nights lit by lonely companions In a sweetness and room 195, they got the black motor there with the last of the Astros They're very desirable, people want these models, the black white motor one And um, that belonged to a mate of mine in Canberra, Wayne Lorenzi And that motor is supposedly worth six or seven thousand dollars the motor and it's supposed to be over 43 horsepower so really just a lot for 43 horsepower out of the 250s yeah right up there yeah like you, you, you know that that it's hard to extract that much power out of the two so then i've yeah. repainted that one too but that's the original They're, these three are matching numbers bikes they're all proper richard ditch factory matching numbers the next one along the red and silver one that that's the granddaddy of the, the astros that's the first actual Astro. They made, they made Persang Astros first, but that's the actual full Astro. They call it 123 Astro. Yeah. They were made in 1974 and they made 300 of them. So there's not many of them left. Yeah. So they're nice. Well, they're a different colour scheme. And the last ones they made in that model, they started coming through with the checkerboard paint. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, it's a rip look. So that was off my mate Wayne Lorenzi. And um, the last one over in the corner is quite an interesting buy. Um, I bought that off Edmund Chrysaic up in Canberra. That bike used to live in um, Nebraska and um, in, a, in a museum. So that bike from brand new in 1978 sat in a museum until 2012. Then it came out to Australia. So that bike's really right. city limit, Where the canyons are empty. Lonely nights lit by lonely companions. Right, hey, same as every other week. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody, let's bring Hagen's back.